Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to our Pokemon Red Fire Nuzlocke. Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke? That's what it is. Batman was so close to evolving, I did a little bit more leveling just to see uh, if it would happen. And it totally did, and I totally think I have a rare candy somewhere. Yes! Here we go. Here you go, buddy. Oh, it's such a good start to the episode. Rare candy was used on Golbat. Batman. You know, that guy. We like him. Batman was elevated to level 41. Yes! He's so mighty! He's gonna evolve! Yes! <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this moment. Thank you! Thank you for letting me have this! <laughs> Everybody else died. We didn't get Tyranitar. Even Dragonite, gone. But Crobat, you're with us, buddy. For the long haul. Yeah, Batman evolved into Crobat! Damn, he's so cool! Uh, can he learn fly now? Is that a thing that is, uh, available to him? Do -do -do -do. He is able to learn fly. That's so wonderful. Yes, let's delete a move. Wing attack, I'm hesitant to delete. Astonish, we don't really find ourselves using all that much. So goodbye. Astonish. And, uh, we could delete wing attack later. Or delete fly, uh, but it seems like something that we'll need. Especially since we're going to the Seafoam Islands today. And, uh, now Batman's ahead, so... Switch him. Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. The wand has died deep blue. Would you like to surf? Fuck yeah, you surf! Oh, Sea King, you're the best! Let's fight. Let's fight, you! I look at the sea to forget all the bad things that happen. Really? I look into my computer monitor. And then I remember all the bad things that happened by looking into it. It's it's quite a unorthodox way of dealing, you see. Or is it? Ask society! So he sends out a palm trend, he's gonna go ahead and side beam that thing. Blah, I think it's gonna hit. punch a big hole. Yeah, indeed. Because we're ten levels higher than it. <laughs> I went a little overboard maybe with my power leveling. But uh, I know that we'll be able to at least give Blaine a run for his money. Still a little nervous about Sabrina. Um, I don't know if her Alakazam has a Shadow Ball or anything like that, but I know it does have Psychic, so it's gonna really fuck with, uh, yeah, Arbok and all the poison types that I have on my team. I meant to hit Psybeam. So I was thinking about dealing with Sabrina with Mr. Mime, but if she has Shadow Ball, uh, that's not gonna be good. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves. We just beat Koga. Um, but I'd really like to kick this kick this series into high gear. High gear. Victor Bell, no problem. Super effective side beam. And uh, goodbye, Swimmer Tony. Why don't you get a shirt? Huh? Let's put a shirt on in the ocean. Like a normal person. Oh. Guess we'll fight you too. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. What do you think's down there? Relicants? You can't haul them to the top. They'll weigh you down. You'll drown. Is this another guy named David? I'm very confused. Is this another guy that looked like the last guy? Probably. Uh, he's got a Mew. I don't really enjoy that much. I'm gonna go ahead and send Acorn in. And give this thing the pain train! And hopefully it uses Psychic Move. Nope. Pound. And it was a crit, but that does nothing at all, basically. Nicely done. Nicely. And the fake out doesn't do much to him either, but faint attack should punch a decent hole. Maybe two faint attacks because it is kind of a low power move. Oh no! It does it! Good job, Acorn. You're the man, man. And I forget what nature Acorn is, but I remember Crobat's Jolly. That's what I know. Mmm, he's gonna send in the Zapdos. I don't really have a rock move on use acid, which is a shame. Perhaps I should pull out that Rock Tomb or something like that. Um, we'll try... Whatever, Faint Attack will work. Hopefully this thing doesn't have Heat Wave. But I think that's like a Move Tutor move or something crazy like that. Yeah, he just goes for Thunder Wave, which isn't nice, but... Uh, I don't know. Acorn can take it. Oh no, here comes the Peck. It does not very much, but we'd like to get the Faint Attack off. Yes! Nicely! Nicely! 
Well, goodbye, Zapdos. You glorious, glorious bird man. If I go to the power plant, I think I'm gonna use some repels so I can get myself a Zapdos. Kinda takes the fun out of it, the surprise out of it. He's sending them a champ. We're going back into uh, Mr. Mime. Could probably blow this thing away in one hit. <laughs> she would enjoy that, or her, he would enjoy that. I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. I haven't asked him. I haven't brought it up. It's an awkward subject. <laughs> it's a touchy subject. Uh, yeah, level 29 Machamp. Definitely gonna be taken down by level 40 Psybeam from a Mr. Mime. Um, and there goes Swimmer David. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye to you, sir. These swimmers have, like, no money at all. That's not cool. I guess they left it in their pants. In their pants! Oh. A doubles? No. I'm looking after my brother. He just became a trainer. Is it doubles? Is it? Yeah, it's doubles! Alright. Cool. Leah and Luke sent out Corefish and Aaron. Ooh. Who's got the Aaron? Nice Aaron, kid. You know that's the, gonna grow up and be big and strong, don't ya? We'll use Magical Leaf on the core fish, and um, I'm actually considering switching Acorn out, but we'll just try and flinch the Aaron. That'll work. It's not gonna do much damage at all, but it will keep him busy for a turn, unless he has some ability that uh, I know he doesn't have. <laughs> Magical Leaf on that core fish, boom! Fucking sacked, kid. Sorry, I hate to swim down here and do this to you, but uh, it's just the way it had to be. It's just the way it had to be. Life's not fair, and I, I figure it's best you learn that right now. Um, so not much that I have is going to do a whole lot against Aaron. Magical Leaf will hit neutral, I think. But, ooh, oh my. Yep. Mega, I didn't think I was going to be able to take it out in that round, but um, Mega Kick is actually the move that takes it out, even though it's four times resisted. Because he has just a sliver of health from Magic Leaf. So good job, my nasty Mr. Mime. And, uh, what is it? Shift Tree? Shift Tree, save the day. Oh, there's so many trainers over there. Oh, we're on a new route now. Lord. Who has, uh, paralysis? That's right. The Snakey Snake. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, what is it? Another Cradley? Man. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Goodbye. And the Species Clause is not implemented, so, uh, even though I already have a Cradley, because it's randomized, um, yeah, it wanted to give me another one, and I refused. Politely, but, uh, quite firmly. <laughs> so let's see if we can go and see Foam Islands and catch something. I'm not necessarily gonna go and get Articuno and all that. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are common sights in these spots. They say that Misty of the Cerulean Gym trains here. She would, that bitch. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh my god, Sea Foam Islands. Please let there be something awesome in here. Wow, it's a lot more snowier than I remember it. On the Game Boy Advance or whatever the hell it was. Oh, it's another Dragonite! Yeah! <laughs> Like I said, Species Clause is not implemented, so this is my Pokemon for uh, for the cave, and I'm totally going for it. It's level 29, so we need to be be gently with it, and um, you already know what's going to be named. Oh, don't Dragon Rage. Oh, that's bad. Nobody likes it. Okay. It's going to be fine. We're going to be great. We're going to peck it down just a little bit more. He's going to use Dragon Rage. I got to switch my fuck yeah out of here. And uh, we'll put some status on it. We'll go to the Snakey Snake. We'll put some status on it. That'll be a great thing. Oh god, I can't wait for my brand new Dragonite. This is gonna be so good. Ah, oh, and he's got Thunder Wave. Even more status for the team. That'll be so wonderful. Have a little glare, happy little Dragonite. Oh god, he's not happy. He's Dragon Raging. All right, glare. Looking at you! Looking at you! And Dragonite's uh, quite intimidated by that, as he should be. Shedskin cures paralysis. Hell yeah, Shedskin! And I will throw a great ball at it. I ain't gonna chance it. Go ahead, lock it up. We need this thing. We need a real bad. I mean, I just leveled up a bunch of new shit, but I still really want that Dragonite! <laughs> yeah! We caught another Dragonite! Ah. Uh, 
Let's give him a nickname. Wonderful. His name is Albino, because he's not Albi, but um, he's close enough for me. <laughs> Hooray! Put him in box one. He's alive, he's alive, he's a real, real alive. And we can fly, we can fly. I might come back here and train on these trainers at some point, but uh, I'm kind of over-ish on the random battles. I just want to uh, go fuck some people up. Fuck some people up! Go sell on City! We'll buy a bunch of shit! It's gonna be awesome! Yay! Shopping! I did buy a couple super potions, but what I really need is some lemonade from the toppy top. Or whatever, fresh water. Something to quench a guard. A couple of fresh waters. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. He doesn't de deserve too much. He has a job where he's like, sitting down. You know what I mean? Go that first floor. You know what I mean? Hopefully we'll be able to get into, uh, Saffron City? Yes, Saffron City. <laughs> and fight Sabrina without too much trouble. Crobat and Arbok are kinda have to kinda stay in the back. I really don't want them to go down, either one of them. Really, really important to me. Did we catch Pokemon for Route 7? I can't quite remember. I'm on God Duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh, wait there, the road's closed. Hey. Can we, can we go through there? We've gotta go through another gate? Is that what I'm understanding? Does he want something better than water? Lady, give me hot tea. Hot tea. Hot tea is what the fucking guard wants. Not lemonade, not water, not soda pop. There's a fucking lady in that building that gives you hot tea. I did not remember that at all. That's, that's quite a shame for a sprayer. That tea, it looks awfully tasty. Can I have this drink? Gee, thanks. Dun, 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 dun. If you want to go to Saffron City, well, you can go through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. Thank you so much, thirsty guards. So we've made it to Saffron City, friends. Sylph's latest product released to be determined. Oh, there looks like bad people around the Sylph building. That's to be expected. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Mine too. Mostly stealing candy bars from 7-Eleven. But it's something! <laughs> so friends, I hope you'll join us for the next time. This has been Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.